Okay, y'all, this is just a quick one-off video in the life of Terrell and Tesla. For Christmas, I got this fantastic uh, Corsair K100 Air. Best Buy slapped a label on the front of it and shipped it without a box. So I'm really glad somebody didn't porch pirate this thing. You can see I already took a sneak peek at it. We're gonna open this bad boy up and see what it is has to offer. So in an effort to not dox us, I'm not showing the front of the box with the shipping label. However, inside this beauty is sitting here with this nice little screen protector, which is gonna help me keep the cat hair out of it. As you can see, the, uh, the cougar back here has seen better days. We're missing a four key. There's cat hair everywhere. The fantastic little starter scissor switch keyboard though. So highly recommended if you like those flat keys like me. This one, you can pull off nice plastic cover and reuse it when you leave the desk area to keep the cats from sniffing around and putting their fur in your nice $300 <laughs> keyboard. And here's one culprit of all the cat hair. There's a little kitty culprit. He's a good boy. Oh, y'all, I'm so excited about this thing. So when you first pull it out of the box, it's got some safety info, warranty, all your cables are nicely stored in here for you. So it should be pretty easy to set up. Uh, it's wireless, but I'm not going to use it wirelessly. I like having my keyboards plugged in. So that's what we're gonna do. Oh, I'm so excited about the volume toggle knob. So we have it plugged in. The cord is actually on the left side instead of the right side. So I had to rearrange a little bit of my desktop stuff. I'm gonna have to do some cord management here. And so it's charging, but we're gonna be using it plugged in. So it should function right out of the box. So let's see how it goes. It didn't come with any sort of guidebook, so I guess I'm gonna have to go to the website to figure out how to actually use it. Corsair, negative points for any sort of guidance on how to use your product. Because there's no book to tell me how this thing works, I didn't know that it has a power button. Ooh, let's turn off the light. Ooh. Ah. I still don't know how to control all the functionality and colors of this thing. It's also louder than I wanted it to be, but I think it's quiet by general keyboard standards for gamers. Uh, I like the very thin, small, tightly spaced keys. Um, I don't have big hands, so I, I hate those big clunky mechanical keys. I hate it being loud. I just want a smooth, quiet experience on the keyboard when I'm writing, when I'm gaming, it doesn't matter. The Cougar Vantar was dead silent and I loved it. Uh, it's just not going to be a long-term sort of a device. The quality in manufacturing just isn't quite there for a multi-year keyboard option. This hopefully will last me several years or until somebody makes an even more quiet option. Let me get it set up and I'll show you the final look for my keyboard. This is it. So I don't like a lot of movement to catch my eye because I have ADHD, so I just need everything to be solid. But here we have basically the Constellation logo with the blue, yellow to orange to red at the bottom. It was easy as pie with the software that you have to download, but it all recognized the keyboard perfectly. There was nothing to do but download the software, upgrade the firmware, and it was good to go. Super easy to figure out how to use. I was able to create my own zones on the keyboard to light the keys how I wanted, and I'm really excited. This is how we're going to be playing from now on. Something about like and subscribe. Um, yeah.